Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I'm back, baby. I've been playing this game all day, on and off. I've just had runs going while I'm doing other stuff. And I was like, ah, you know, I should probably sit down and record one. So here I am, back. I've been, I lose a lot of runs when I am not uh, talking over them. I just kind of click shit and go and then don't think about it. So gotta break the habit quick before I become washed. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? We have Thief, Brigand, Squire, Mystic, Initiate. It's like... It's scary to reroll because there's only two particularly bad ones, but I think Mana Debt is pretty unfun here. I'm gonna hit it. Oh yeah, add Goblin, I'm down. Dabble, Ruffian, Alloy, Healer, Mage. Healer, Mage is good, and Dabble and out. Actually, this party's pretty good. Dabble, Alloy, Healer, Mage is solid. And Ruffian's here. It just is going to look kind of bad in the first fight because of this thorn. Who in the world kills this thorn? <laughs> you got it, buddy. Go get him. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Ruffian, you want to do it like that? Sure, buddy. I don't mind. You can just fly off. What do I care? Guardian Whirl. I have been less critical of Guardian lately. I think he's not so bad. He pairs well with anything with Steel. I don't hate first picking Whirl. I know a lot of people despise Whirl, but I'm gonna take Whirl here to keep my four card combo to keep Mage uh, going intact. And first pick Whirl means that I can pull Fey, Armor, Spellblade, and he becomes fine. I'm not gonna say good, but he's all right. If I flare this goblin, my dabble lives. Let me just take a second here though, cause I could also go flare. Nah, no way. For sure you kill the archer. I shouldn't be lazy, you know? I want to just tunnel on the boar, but I know I shouldn't. There's no justification. Uh, I'm winning this fight, for sure. And I should win it with no deaths, barring any uh, impatience. Gotta beat my greatest foe, myself, as usual. Ooh, worn arm seedling. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm gonna pick Seedling here for sure. It's good for Whirl in fights like this. You get the two damage side, which isn't too bad. It's like obviously he doesn't want to do one to all in a fight like Null Crone Goblin, right? That's six mana. Oh, God. It's it's like he has two X's. That's the thing. His dice may look like it has four si or five sides, but it really only has four sides. That's world's biggest trouble. What on earth is brother doing? Why does he have cleave shield one? Who's casting cleave shield one? Who's going into a turn and going, oh man, can't wait for the cleave shield one out of world? Nobody, this is a non-person. I have created a fake person. Ah, oh, Faye, nice. Scary because I'm breaking up the mage group, but Faye plus Whirl goes off. Mm. I'm afraid. My team's health is very low. And I'm sitting here. I mean, Faye needs to weaken Alpha. And if I don't find... This, this is a 6. I need to find... I need to, you know what I need here? I need Cleave Shield 1. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna reroll. I think I have made an error. I have. I needed to flare. Hmm. 
This team is under some serious threat now. I think it's highly likely. I, I think it's almost guaranteed that I lose this fight from this spot, actually. I would be so shocked if I can dig out of this. Yeah, I mean... And I'm still one short, man. It's not good. And I can't kill the wolf. One damage off. Uh, okay. Alpha needs a summon, okay. That's a good first step. Two mana means I flare this wool, probably. Cleave, kill the goblin. Maybe a heal out of Davil? Hmm, man, that's fine. Could leave the wolf and flare the alpha, actually. That's probably better. The wolf is hitting a non-consequential attack here. Okay, it's bad, but... There's some hope. We have a little bit of a dream here. The three single target hits on three separate targets is so unfortunate. But we kill Alpha. Can Dabble, Mage, Whirl kill two wolves? I think yes. We got pretty lucky overall to worm our way out of this one. Holy shit, dude. I need... <laughs> Whirl, I need the cleave shield. No, I just need two mana. You've decided your own fate. I'm gonna let you live, but I want you to know you should die for this mage. If Dabble dies for your transgressions, all right, we're good. Very frightening. We're in a horrific spot. <laughs> this shit looks real bad. I'm going to take Burning Blade. Oh man, having my team max HP be 5 looks not right. I think you do this. Take the dabble to 3. Add Goblin is supposed to be a free curse. Why am I getting beat down? This shit's crazy. <laughs> no, I don't want this. Oh, okay. You gotta kill the Slimer here. Because I can't waste damage like this. I can't be killing the snake with 4 plus 3. There's just no way. If it was like 3 plus 2 and then 4 into Slimer, I would take that. But no chance. It's okay. This specific situation right here, this is what we're taking Whirl for. This is Whirl's moment, brother. Look at this shit. You ready? Oh, Whirl! Look at that. He's so good. Ooh, wait, wait. We got the full squad. I'm gonna click it, man. I'm in. I'm here. I'm about it. Bay Armor World. This is the squad. Should give my world back his cleave side now. They are beating your ass, Dabble. What's going on here, huh? Oh, and that Soodle's not even hitting you. Oh, shit. I can kill two goblins. Wait, can I? No, I don't think I can. Okay, so the roll here, I mean, I'm definitely not bursting. I'm looking for two mana mage. Weaken is nothing. Two mana mage is the only thing that makes a difference here. Okay, well, it's all the same. Dabble is getting ratioed for sure. Okay, Dabble is part of the game. That's the life. Okay, and now we hit a cleave. No, wrong cleave! Come on. Okay, okay. Yeesh. <laughs> uh, glass blade. Autumn leaf? Nah, I'll take glass blade. I've picked up three left side replacers, which is maybe not the best, but 
armor can hold this five damage side. That seems fine. Two, three, two, four for Fay. Oh, you're dying to sleep. Could play circle, but it doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh Nah, you know, I should go for the bandit here. The we've putting all my investment into not killing Slate and like half elfing him leaves me open to die into some freak shit. Oh, nice. Uh boosting is kinda whatever here. If Dabble dies, maybe Dabble just dies here. That might be the angle. Well, goes here. Yeah, it's, a, it's a death angle for Dabble for sure. Alas. Maybe I might have been able to do like boost mage into burst of this guy and kill through that. I don't know. Mm, it's fine. Whatever. Dabble's expected to die here with this item. I am not down for Evoker here. It's gotta be Ninja. And we have a lot of cleave damage. I'm gonna get torn apart by this battle, I'm pretty sure. Are you out of your mind? Uh, I guess you could go like Cleaveling here. It's probably better. I mean, Ninja has the double hit side here, which is pretty good. Copycat is mostly what we're expecting. But hey, you never know. Three damage, not bad. That's okay, mage. It's a sign of the times. It's not your fault. All your friends have upgraded. Time for you to do the same, buddy. You can dodge Bell's ring. Talking about this recently, I think it was on stream. Things you can and cannot dodge. The ring is is questionable. Strange. I would go so far as to say. Uh, I don't know. I think I should roll this. The boost isn't that good here. Oh, wow. Oh, I should have kept the boost now, huh? It's okay. Back to back bell whiffs is very good, but my health bar is running low. He's getting kind of torn apart, though. Oh, the cleave shield, my favorite side. You know, he he hits a few, a few good ones here and there, Mr. Whirl. Occasionally he hits some threes. Shocking that nobody died there. Quicksilver, Chainmail. I mean, you gotta pick Chainmail. Look at this team's health bars. No doubt. Let's put it on Fey. I want to race these Soodles. I'm gonna Burning Blade Fey. Weaken is not very good in this fight. Maybe one to all was good though. I bet I should have kept one to all on Whirl. Oh, and then, yeah, instead of Seedling. I don't know. Cleave, cleave. Someone hit me a boost here. Unbelievable. What am I paying my losers for? I have armor, Fey, Whirl. You're, it's not a Whirl's fault. Whirl showed up to work today. You guys are just... What, you're striking? Ah, I fucked up here. Uh oh, man. Okay. It's okay. I should have locked the... The one damage side so that I could kill the Wiz, guaranteed. Caldera? Yo, it's so Caldera here. Are you kidding me? Scald plus Whirl? Oh, baby. Pretty bad, because how do I get the mana for Scald? I guess through what? Ooh, don't think about it. Just look away. 
I mean, this hand is pretty good, isn't it? This quartz dies. 2-2-1. Two, two, it's like if I if I boost anything here. Okay, so the only thing I can reasonably boost. Hold on, let's let's get into the the details here. If you boost mana, you can do Scald 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, I'm done with that. But like I was thinking for sure I was boosting cleave or the two damage W's, right? But it doesn't work out. And one damage to all is not a keyword, but mana gain is. Mana gain sure is. You're facing that down. Yeah, I think, I mean, we're to the point now where we should be out of the worst of Ad Goblin. Dragonhide ever? Hmm. I think it's fine. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Dragonhide just kind of does nothing. Pick a random. Fearless? Sure. I don't hate that. I think it's kind of a non-choice, though. Dragonhide or uh, just randoming there. Both are fine. Oh, this will work. We go... Lord of the Zombie, yuck. I don't think I can save Faye, though. If I can kill the Spiker, I can save Faye. Mm, I cannot. Okay. It's fine. Sometimes you die. It's okay, Faye. I don't mind. Spiker's a real bitch today, he's just fucking pummeling me. Where's my rain of arrows? The rain of... Spikes? Swords? Oh. What do you think? Rain of arrows? I mean, it's gotta be rain of arrows, right? Surely. Well, well, well. I love to pick Venom because it's very cool. Eh, but it's way too greedy. I gotta play Bash here. No doubt in my mind I have to click Bash in this spot. Whirl into Baron? I think I'm just asking for it. Please, please, Mr. Baron, just obliterate my skull. Annihilate me. Thank you. Mm, actually, I don't want that. I'm gonna roll for 5 damage on armor. Nice. I think I settle here. I don't need to settle on these two, though. Yeah, because if you hit a 4 damage, you are pretty happy. Because that's both ghosts killed on turn 1. It's tough because I lose Bash for a turn, but whenever you kill both ghosts on turn 1 of Baron, you're usually just winning. 2 mana lets me Scald. Sorry, I just... Like, I feel like I'm hearing songs on this playlist for the first time ever. There's new music or some shit? One sec, I gotta look. Hold on. Hang on, I'm looking. That doesn't look like it. Wait, when did this album come out? Hold on, hold on. Back. 2023. I think this album is, re is new. Hmm. What do you know? And I'm only just now becoming aware. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's new as in, like, it probably it came out within the last year. But I didn't know. I thought the last time that he added new music to this playlist was, like, 2021. So, you know, right on. I like new music. Oh, I actually hit. I don't think I should have been rewarded for what I did here. This shit seems wrong. But, uh, you know what? It's fine. 
twisted bar. I mean, you know. Looking like a fey till the end sort of angle all of a sudden. In the blink of an eye, Faye just became stronger than almost every tier 2 in the game, or tier 3 red. Shocking how fast it happens, isn't it? This character has no bad sides now? That's kind of cool. Ooh. Man, I talked shit about Shield 1 Cleave today? That's ridiculous. Look at how good this side is. Who would ever talk shit about Shield 1 Cleave? The, the best side in the game. The best side in any game? Maybe. It's plausible. This is lethal somewhere. There you go. Sharpshot Prophet. I'm keeping Faye. Almost certainly I'm keeping Faye at this point. This is a fucked up looking fight with the goblin. There's like a nice little sy symmetry here that is just obliterated by this goblin. God, it's such a war to not say gobbling. I can't... I feel like I'm breaking out of programming or something. Fucking, I've been brainwashed and I'm breaking the, the fucking brainwashing I've taken. Goblin. 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 Who is this? That's the Goblin. No! Ooh, Metal Studs Armor, honestly. I mean, this guy's also pretty slick now. This could be the Fey Armor carry to the end. It'll depend. If I see Wizard, almost a certain yes to keeping them. I have a lot of snakes to kill here. I need a boost out of Fey. I think this steel side is right. Oh, and then we go three damage here. Hold on, I gotta pick which one of these characters I like the most. I mean, it's gotta be... Hmm... Red, orange, or blue? Uh, blue for sure stays. I guess I kill the one that's targeting orange, since he's got three coming at him. We're gonna take this fight on the long way. I mean, it's the only way to take this fight on, to be fair. But it's fun to say, the long way. I think, anyway. Kill. Kill. And when I say the long way, I just mean we're gonna probably have to kill the goblin ourselves. Although, at this point, maybe not. I've been fighting off the snakes. This fight's super scary, by the way. Triple snakes? Or no, quadruple snakes. Okay, wizard. Alright, well, I'm locked in. Armor, Fey, wizard, all the way to the end. This is my final team, actually. I don't think I'm cutting any of this. Because armor and wizard, armor, fey, wizard is so busted. Although, I can do this too, and then maybe drop fey. It's similarly good. Metal studs armor, though, we want to keep for sure. We'll see here. I'll see what they show me. Here's the thing, right? Some people, they you may or may not know why wizard is so good. So let me show you. Wizard's spell is Inspire. For 4 mana, target hero can use their dice again. As soon as Wizard reaches 4 mana on his side, like this, Inspire becomes net positive. And suddenly... I, I mean, you see, right? Suddenly he's doing 10 damage and generating mana. That shit's kind of broken when you get right down to it. I'm gonna do this though, because I'd rather just kill that Slade on. I don't care if Broking heals too. He has no chance. I think Wizard's my favorite character in the game. I love this goofy guy. For sure, Serration here. 
Because now we have Serration Sharp Shot, and we can just start obliterating. Like, uh, most bosses just die now. The only boss that's a little concerning here is Hexia, because our defensive capabilities aren't very good. And Hexia can just kind of put me down. It has to be you die, right? And then... Oh, Sharp Shot's just getting one-tapped. Holy... You know what? I'm down to play defensive. So we would go four shield, inspire, and four shield. Because defensive play against fanatics is always right. Hmm. I was hoping, I mean, I can do this, right? That's fine. It's good to keep the goblin alive, and killing a sniper is good. Not like super, super good, but you know, fine is what I would call it all. I go here. Oh, that's just the phone. All right, we got there. Forsaken Stalwart. I think I am down to swap out Fey for Forsaken. Let's talk about why for a second, because this is a choice that if you were to just go based on the tier list, especially in this spot, you could see it being a little questionable. From this position, the only thing I lose this run to is Hexia. I've already locked my blue, and the only thing that I need is something to bail me out of Hexia. Forsaken is really good at bailing you out of Hexia because you just bind your blue and then they're immune to the burn damage. And then if someone fucks up and dies, you have revive and you have some healing to help out. But primarily it's revive to recover really bad situations and bind to just cheat the fight. Those are the two things that Forsaken is bringing to the table here and both of those things are very good. And I am confident that I will win everything other than Hexia right now. And now with this, I am locked in for Hexia as well. If you roll five, it's fine. Yeah, okay, fine. I was hoping to draw a lethal on this Banshee on this turn, but does not appear to be. So we just shoot the Goblin. <laughs> Uh, the goblin. And we'll just chill. It's fine. As soon as I overlap armor and wizard on a good turn, I win. Oh, but he got weakened. Yuck. What do I have? It's this one that's killing me. Wow. Town boss. Uh, I might be able to go. Are you? Not quite. Uh... So the point here is that this shield is worthless. That's what we're looking at. I can roll bash because a stun is just as good as anything else here. So I roll these three. Stun there. Oh yeah, you stun there and then I'm chilling. Okay. And then I'm safe to roll these no matter what happens. It's all good. So we just stun Banshee. Oh, we don't even need to stun Banshee. She just dies. I don't know. Oh, I was doing it on troll because the only damage I had was on uh, this guy on Bash. We just kill Banshee and then I'm down to first stun Basilisk here. I said there's no way we lose, but this fight was actually a little tight, because we're having tough, a tough time rolling, apparently. But eventually, everything connects. Eventually. I've got a bag of rocks over here, though, which is not doing great. Fucking dead weight. Oh my god, we haven't even won yet. 
This that was 418? Oh jeez. Thankfully Wizard has a great matchup into Hydras. I'm opposed to Dumbbell Bash. Dude just hits 11s. It's pretty decent. Emerald Mirror. What are my 5 through 7s? It's Twisted Bar. Is this a... This is a 4. It's Metal Studs, Twisted Bar. What's my 7? is Fearless. It's 5, 5, 7 is what I... Or no, 5, 6, 7. This is good. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain, but I need to go take some shit off first. Because now you go, like... Twisted Bar... Metal Studs, Emerald Mirror? That looks pretty good, right? I lose out on the stun, and it'll depend on who the boss is on how much I care about that. But I think I do take Scary Face off. Because this is the clear setup that I'm going for. It's armor smithing three with wizard here. Or... Okay. Because now we go like, and now we're net positive here. I can just straight up kill this Hydra. That's how much damage this is. I go here, and it's just... Like, dead. I'm one mana off of lethal, sadly. But that's okay. You might be able to find lethal in there somewhere, but I'm so strong. I'm pretty sure I just win anyway. Let's take a look. Indeed. Oh, it's Dragon. Okay. Well, this is going to be a slaughter. By far, this is our best matchup. Dragon is slow and consistent damage, and we are going to rock him. Yeah, he's triple poisoning. Lamal. The only thing I want to do here is stun the bird. I was actually thinking this could happen. I was worried it would hit the bird and then my stun would get fucked up, but it's fine because it kills anyway. Uh, I was gonna stun the bird, but it turns out, like, Dragon is gonna be a lot weaker if I just go like this. Because nobody's even dying. I mean, Forsaken's dying to poison on this turn. Yo, the double poison? He's, he's high rolling me. It's okay. We got cantrip mana. I roll it. Yeah, no matter what here, it's fine. Because he takes six and then just dies. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right on. Not too bad. Uh, a little scary in the mid game, though. With a little bit touch and go for a while there. Of note here, 40 rolls, or 384 rolls, 40 X's. Trying to keep track of stats like that. I wonder if I can go track that in the history. Anyway, I don't know. But yeah, the old classic wizard armor, the combo. I'm an arm I'm a big armor critic, but this was like a high roll run for him. Armor, whirl, and the wizard. Very exciting. But uh not very good. Also healed eight. I don't know if I've ever seen that low. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.